Now, I am um, on the belief that if I help and you help and the poor of all help each other, then the load that one person carries will be less. And the load in our case, at this point in time, we're talking about the load to educate our children. We're talking about the load to provide health care for our children, for our old people. We're talking about the load to provide sleeping place for most of our people. And these are the loads that I am trying and I am praying that God will help us to find the resources that we can bear together. I traveled from here to Liberia in 2009 after I had stayed for like seven years. And there I interacted with several children from different communities. And every community I went to and I talked to, a child who was not in school during school hours, they said, my mom don't have money to pay my fees, or my father don't have money to pay my fees. The literacy rate in Liberia is a dismal 60%. That ranks 188 out of 215 countries. If we don't do nothing now, and you have so much children out of school, what do you think might happen in the next decade or two from now? Same thing going to repeat itself. Liberia would be again in another trouble. We believe that if we can raise $20,000, we can have a pilot school built by the fall of 2016 in Martinsville, Liberia. If we can mobilize each other, like you have here in America, where the kids just take their book back, and walk on to school with all their parents having to scramble to pay fees, same can happen in Liberia. Please join me as we launch BABMOC in the goal of achieving Isaac's dream so that we can give as many Liberian children as possible something that we here in the U.S. all take for granted, access to a free education. Thank you.